today uh, we're going to uh, uh, go over how to uh, prepare uh, a bootable USB stick uh, that contains more than uh, just a single uh, uh, a puppy Linux but uh, will uh, by using the uh, program called uh, frugal pup as, the, as you see here uh, it allows to uh, easily uh, install more than just one uh, puppy Linux variant so you can uh, on boot uh, you can have a choice of uh, whether you want to boot into uh, for, for example FOSA PUP64 or Bionic PUP64 so we'll go over uh, how to prepare uh, for this uh, making of uh, this USB stick now of course first thing we need to do is to uh, to uh, download the uh, puppy Linux that you want. In this case, uh, for demonstration uh, purposes, I'll be mainly uh, using two FOSA Pub64 and Bionic Pub64. Uh, the program I'll be using, as I mentioned, is Frugal Pub. Bus, uh, Frugal Pub. So this program. Uh, is already installed in Frugal Pup 64, which is what I'm using now. But uh, I, I have modified Frugal Pup 64 in my personal computer uh, using uh, BSPWM uh, window manager, so it may look slightly different to you at times. So basically, uh, you should be able to follow the instructions uh, pretty, uh, pretty well. So let me just go back. So uh, to install or uh, to download the FOSA pub, you just click here and it'll give you instructions on how to download. There's no uh, reason why you couldn't download more than just FOSA pub and Bionic pub. Uh, for example, you can uh, also download Xenial pub and so on. As long as you have enough space on the USB stick that you'll be using to, uh, to uh, install. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, put in a, a USB stick that you'll be using. Uh, so we can just put it in. And then in my case, it shows up as SDG1 and SG2. So we'll go ahead and uh, first you have to prepare the USB stick. And uh, we'll be using Gparted. So we can go ahead and use the Gparted, and it's SDG1, uh, G, so SDG, this is the USB stick that we want to uh, just basically wipe it all out. So we'll go ahead and OK. Now, we'll be using, th this uh, uh, USB stick will only work on UEFI um, uh, P uh, PC, so uh, We'll go. First thing we have to do is go to create partition table, and then because we be installing it a UEFI machine, you have to use a GTP GPT uh, uh, partition table. So we'll go ahead and apply that. It's gonna wipe out the whole USB. Okay. Next, we'll have to prepare a small partition. 300 would be more than enough. 300 megabyte. And we'll, it has to be in uh, FAT32. And then we'll go ahead and uh, label it as UEF, uh, e EFI. So that's OK. And then we'll go ahead and uh, rest of it partition into uh, where we'll be installing puppy. So we'll be installing two different puppy uh, here. So. And then we'll go ahead and apply the uh, operations. It should take a couple of minutes. After that, we have to make sure that we put a bootable flag so the USB does uh, indeed uh, is bootable. So we go down to manage flags. And then you can, uh, EFI machine, you can uh, click on ESP and it, it will automatically click, uh, click uh, uh, boot. So 
now it's pretty much finished uh, we can go ahead and pull out the uh, USB stick because it's all finished remove it okay Oh, I made no, I made a mistake. Uh, we I want to stick it back in. We have to uh, tell. Uh, we have to use the uh, frugal pup. <laughs> Actually, to install it, uh, install the uh, puppy in a correct uh, partition in the USB. So we'll be using ISO, which we downloaded, and then we'll direct. Uh, to downloads and this is the uh, ISO that needs to be uh, used to as to as a inst inst to install and we want to put it in SDG one, uh, 2 partition puppy and then we want to create because we we'll be putting in more than one so uh, for this uh, bionic pup we'll put it in BP64 and then enter so it be uh, under SDG2 BP64 and this is where we want the BP64 uh, files to go to okay and it's okay we'll go ahead and install now it's gonna co a copy so it t actually takes a couple minutes uh, while we're waiting uh, we'll go ahead and while we are waiting uh, frugal pup uh, is a very useful program although it comes standard uh, at default in a uh, frugal pup 64 you can uh, go ahead and download the same pet f uh, pet file frugal pup for any other uh, uh, puppy Linux so uh, what I'm showing you today you don't have to have a frugal pup so this actually finished so we'll go ahead and so now we put in one uh, put in one well now we want to put another uh, another I, uh, ISO which is frugal pup this time so uh, I'm sorry a fossa pup this time so we will fossa pup grab that and again we're going to put it in uh, SDG2 okay and then we're gonna create false pub 64 this time enter and then okay and then let it go ahead and install the necessary files into that folder so going back a uh, way to get it uh, here's the uh, site and then here's uh, where you can click on there and then uh, pet file is what I would recommend is uh, latest one seems to be this one you click on it and download once you download it to uh, uh, all you have to do is just click on the pet uh, file and it will uh, it will it will be installed so this is done Now the pet file, uh, the uh, puppy files uh, installed, but you have to tell the USB stick uh, how to boot. So you do get a uh, choice in my in this case a fossa pup or a bionic pup. So we'll go ahead and use this to further configure the uh, grub. So SD. G to the default partition cont uh, containing puppy installs. That's correct. So simply OK. So this is BP64 and FP64. This is where we have the uh, puppies, and this is all looks good. And we want to put the uh, grub file in SDG1. So we'll go ahead and OK. And then we'll be using it in UEFI machine. So we'll go ahead and say OK. And then now it's, uh, it's already done. 
So at this point, the uh, the USB stick uh, is ready. You remove it, and then when you boot into another uh, PC that is UEFI and you want to install uh, Puppy Linux, you and then when you first boot into the new machine you should see something like this so we because we put in uh, we install bionic pub and fossa pub you should have a choice of either one and then in, uh, in this uh, pictorial i put it uh, so and then once you get into bionic pub for example you'll have this uh, installation uh, screen where you have to go to uh, go through the install and and uh, creating save file uh, that's it for today. I hope this is helpful to you. Thanks.